Just going to do a quick introductory tutorial to modals and what you can use them for and just setting up some fundamentals like um, detecting a mouse events and that sort of thing. For this modal it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to be changing the viewport sample count with our mouse so that when the modal is activated, so I'm activating the modal and we slide to the right the number increases and as we slide to the left the number decreases. Pretty straightforward, um, and we're also going to add some events so that if right mouse button is clicked, it'll just reset back to the original number, and if left mouse button is clicked, it'll set the property. So we'll start with a new Blender and grab a modal operator. I'll be running mine just from a key press just to begin with, but you can also run this from a button and a run operator node as well. Just to visualize what these sockets are doing, uh, before modal is just going to trigger one event, one execute, uh, as the modal is set. So one, one trigger and dis disable the modal. The modal socket is just going to continuously output events while the modal is running. And the after modal, so activating the modal and then deactivating, it'll just trigger once. We can grab events from the event node and just having a look at type to begin with, it'll might just put a limit on this. It's just going to show events. It'll detect like whether a G key was pressed or a left shift or that sort of thing. The value socket's going to output whether a button was pressed or released or click and drag, that sort of thing. For our modal, we're going to be using mouse region, which will detect the mouse coordinates within the region oops, within the region of the, the window that we're working in. So if we print these values, you'll see that we get a X and a Y. Starting down the bottom, we have 0, 0, and at the top right, we have the, um, the most increased numbers. And we can use the X value as a guide for setting this viewport sample count so that when we slide to the right the number increases and as we slide to the left it decreases. First thing we're going to need to do is set up a variable which will um, work as just a container for a float. Container for information um, we're going to set this to um, we'll grab a split vector and grab these coordinates, change it to a two vector, and just grab the x coordinate. And we're going to display, if we grab a add to menu label, and we will get this variable, display it in the interface, and we'll just chuck it up the top here so we can see what's happening with our number. Um, I just had a separator just to make it a bit easier to see. So now with our variable set up, we can activate our modal and see what happens. Um, actually, what else we will need is when we're displaying numbers in real time through a modal, especially, we're going to need a refresh view after everything, which will update the interface so everything um, shows, shows in real time. So we'll activate the modal and straight away the number is starting at wherever our X location is. And if we slide to the right it increases, if we slide to the left it decreases. We basically want to subtract the very first number that it starts from, from this value. So that's why we're using a, a float variable so that we can manipulate the values. And we're going to create, we'll just rename this one to left or right. We'll create a new one called offset. So this will be the initial value. And we will set that when the modal starts. And just shrink this down a bit. We'll grab a duplicate of that. Plug in the X. So now we're storing that first initial X value in a variable. And what we're going to do is just subtract it from our main value. So we'll grab a math node. And we're going to get the offset and subtract it. 
and now when we start the modal it's just going to default to zero and as we slide right it increases and as we slide left it decreases so from that, that point wherever our mouse is it doesn't matter if it's over here it'll start at zero but we might want this value to start from something like whatever this is so if the viewport samples are set to 64 we want that to be our starting number so we just want one more float value that stores that number as well we'll say initial value we'll call that and we'll set this as the modal starts as well and we'll grab this property and set this to active scene and this needs to be an integer and um, pretty much all of these can just be integers it's not going to affect the um, accuracy too much and we're all setting it to into an integer anyway at the end so um, we'll just stick with integers so now that we've got this sample count set um, we can just add that to our value as well and we will chuck this down here and grab the initial value and add that to the coordinates as well so now when i start it's going to start from the number of the viewport samples count which will be 64 in this case so we enable the modal started at 64 we slide to the right we're increasing slide to the left we're decreasing the only thing left to do now is um, actually change this number so we're going to need a set property we're going to chuck that in there and we're going to tell this sample count here so we'll grab that value again we could have just duplicated it but um yeah whatever and we're going to set this property to be whatever our main value is so all of this and basically we're setting all of that into left and right and we're going to grab that variable and plug that in and we'll change this to integer so now we're setting the property as all this happens so this is going to change so turning on our modal it starts at 64 and as we slide up now we can see our viewport samples changing we can slide left and right and it increases and decreases now if we left click it's not going to actually set anything so we need to set a condition that if left click is pressed that we actually want to set this um, and by default um, default escape is on so right click is going to cancel that obviously works because it's set up by default but now we just need to set up a mouse event so if we grab a modal shortcut node and we grab an if else we can chuck this here and say if left mouse is clicked in this case um, when mouse left left mouse is not clicked we just want to be setting all these properties but when left mouse is eventually clicked we want to run a return modal and finish the operation which will actually set the value so now when we turn on the modal it's going to start at 92 and we're going to slide to the right and left click and it uh, finish the modal and set that value and if we turn on our modal slide to the right and right mouse it's just going to cancel but we can also set up another event so that if we right mouse click it'll set it back to what the value originally was and because we've got initial value stored up here we can just set that reset it back to that so it stored the very first number that was um, counted when we uh, turn the modal on so we can just duplicate this and set this to right mouse and we don't really need to run this in any of these chains through the true or the false um, we can just continue on past this if else and say if at any point you know just continuing on if at any point right mouse is clicked then we want to set this back to the original value so we're just going to grab the initial value we'll get the variable for that and we'll say set property if right mouse is true uh, we want to set this value so we'll just grab this duplicate we'll duplicate that up there we'll set this to an integer uh, plug the property into the top socket and then the value that we want into the bottom socket so if at any point while the modal is running uh, right mouse is detected uh, just set the value back to 
whatever it was at the beginning and because default escape is enabled it will also cancel the modal so let's um, let's set this to something like 6 and start the modal um, it's starting at 6 we slide to the right and we right mouse and it cancelled the modal and returned back to 6 and if we turn it on slide to the right and left mouse it'll apply it so um, yeah that's that's a basic setup it's um it's pretty straightforward one other thing that we can do is um, right now when we turn our modal on we're in increasing in fairly extreme numbers and if you're setting a subdivision for example you don't want to be increasing to 1000 subdivisions so you want a bit more fine control and we can actually add like a granular um, precision mode to it no different like if say if you're moving an object and you hold the shift we can add this event in as well where it just slows it down to smaller numbers and to do that basically all we need to do is um, just add another if else and we're going to grab a event node on the event node we have a shift boolean so if shift is pressed um, we can just add this to the end of everything I'm pretty sure because we want all this to be happening but if, um, actually, no, we might actually want it um, somewhere in between here. So where we're setting the property, this is, um, this is where we're going to want it. Because we're going to have two versions where we're setting the property in a precision mode by holding shift, or we're just setting the property normally. normally. So we'll use that if else right here and i'm just going to minimize this and what we'll do is we'll say if shift is held we're going to go into precision mode and if it is not being held just change it normally with large increments to change the value we don't really need to manipulate the mouse coordinates itself to slow them down we can just do it on this value itself which is pretty straightforward we can just grab the math and we can say multiply by 0 0.01 and this is going to take it to a zero or negative state so we just need to add back the initial value um, is it the initial value um, yep initial value i think and we will just add that back in and let's make sure that these are all just set to integer and setting the property to integer so let's enter our modal and it should start at 362 we hold shift and now I'm sliding all the way across the screen and it's only increased you know five points or something and if we right click cancel out of that start the modal again without holding shift now we're increasing in extremely large numbers so yeah that's um that's one way you can do it obviously like if you focus on the the float value that we've set up at the top it's going to increase whether shift is held or not and we're doing it actually on this value here so it doesn't really matter that this is um not syncing up you know perfectly what matters here is this value so we're getting the desired result that we want so pretty straightforward setup i'll um I'll post this up on the Discord as a template if you if you need it for anything. Yeah, hopefully it's not not um, too technical and it gives you a bit more of an idea how how modal works and how you can just use um, some if else statements to create some conditions. Probably don't need that anymore. Anyway, um, I hope this helps someone out there. And if you've got any questions, um, yeah, just ask in the Discord channel. Yeah, right on. I'll catch up.